This is the first uh, section of my Rube Goldberg. Uh, what happens is when I pull the start, it will pull the pin out of there allowing the roller to roll down. It rolls down and knocks this piece of wood out to allow this arm to swing down. It swings down and drives a needle right into the balloon. When the balloon pops, uh, the funnel hair thingy falls down and pulls the piece of paper out of the funnel. When that paper is pulled out, uh, that piece of dowel wood falls down through and yanks on this string. When it yanks on the string, it pulls up that little metal piece. That allows this roller to roll down. When it rolls down, it'll hit this pin, knocking this piece of wood off. When this piece of wood falls down, it pulls and lifts up my Altoid can lid. That lets this ball roll down the little ramp out of a Venetian blind. It will go into what I made a little teeter-totter. The teeter-totter, when that ball rolls on the other side, it will lift up, allowing the little orange ball, little miniature basketball, to roll down. As it rolls down, it goes back and forth, back and forth, rolls down. When it comes out the bottom, it trips a mousetrap. When that mousetrap trips, it pulls on a string, which will lift this up, a uh, this piece of wood up, allowing the little balls to roll down. And the steel balls roll down the ramp. They go into a bucket. This bucket is on a string, and it is pulling. It will pull out the nail uh, from this tube. When that nail is pulled out, this tube drops down, and underneath here is a electrical connector, a little switch. When that switch is closed, it turns on this motor, which spins this rod and pulls on the string. The string goes over to the other side behind me, and when it yanks that out, it pulls this toilet paper plunger out and releases the paint strip stick and also at the same time opens a little contact here which will turn the motor off so it don't keep spinning. That is the uh, end now of the explanation of part one of my Rube Goldberg. This is a walkthrough part two. Uh, when the toilet paper plunger was pulled out, the rollers under here will roll down the ramp. As they roll down, they knock off this piece of piping. This piece of pipe gives a big jerk and pulls on a string going across here. And in this bucket is water, tinted orange, and there's a sink stopper. When that piece of nipple yanks it, it pulls up that stopper and lets the water run down out of the bucket comes around and it goes into this bucket as the water rises uh, the float down in here rises and that sharp needle as it comes up will puncture the balloon when it punctures the balloon this hunk of pipe on a piece of string over here will fall down and yank on another string up over the top coming back and it will pull out this piece of nail that's holding back ball bearings that's going to roll down all the way down here and start the next section going so this is the end of part two walkthrough this is part three to put the candle out. Uh, when this pin in here is moved, there's uh, roller bearings in there. They roll down the tube. When they get to the end, inside the tube, I got a needle, and the bearings will push the needle in and pop the balloon. When the balloon pops, the wooden on the hinge here will go down and trip this mousetrap. When that mousetrap trips, it lets go 
of this string that's being pulled down on the other end. When that string is let go, this will just roll down the cable. As it rolls down the cable, it's going to hit the uh, pink stick. The pink stick will then move out of the way, letting the, the bird seed that's in this bottle go into a basket. As the basket goes down lower and lower and lower, it will cause this arm to come down. Inside of it there's some more bearings. Uh, when it tips far enough, the bearings drop in to the funnel. As they come down the funnel, they go round and around pretty darn fast. Let's come over here so we can see it more on the Tygon tubing. When they finally come down to the end, what they're going to do is knock that little piece of wood holding this arm up, which has a needle on it on the end. When that falls down, it will break, hopefully, <laughs> this balloon. Above this balloon, there's three wooden balls just laying in there being held by the balloon. When the balloon pops, the balls will roll down this piece of tubing. They will drop in to this plastic container and trip the mouse trap that's in there. When the mouse trap trips, it pulls this little black arm out of the way, allowing the fly swatter to swing down, knock off this magnet, which is holding the can of water from tilting. When the magnet is knocked off, the weight of the water tilts it down, and the water runs out and puts out the burning candle. That's the end of the walkthrough part three. Part one, action. So far, so good. Okay, I'm hoping to get this fast enough. When I pull to make those rollers roll, we're going to go real fast down here. Here we go. The water is pulled. Water is draining. The float's coming up. As it does it, here comes the popper. Gotta go. And it pulled the pin. Right out of there. Wow, hard to follow this. Part 3, action. Had to help it a little, but it went out. <laughs> 